Welcome or welcome back at uh, C Square. In this video clip, we will talk about transformation. And I'm going to use this GeoGebra app. You're going to find the link for this app uh, in the description area of this uh, YouTube video clip in case you want to use it. There are two types of transformation, and I said here C types of transformation. I'm going to click on this. There are rigid transformation and there are non rigid transformation. And if I click here, I'm going to see what we call rigid transformation. There are three of them, translation, reflection, and rotation. Non-rigid transformation is only one, dilation, but there are two, two types, which we're going to see it a little bit later, enlargement and reduction. Uncheck these boxes if you want to move to the next slide, which I'm going to do it now. And now you see here translation. If you remember, this is the first rigid transformation or rigid motion is another name you can hear it or uh, congruent transformation and I want you first to see how it looks like you see this is the pre-image and based on this vo vector we have the image this is a translation let's see a couple things about translation it keeps the size as you notice in the slide here of the pre-image slides the shape in any direction yes and preserve the measure of the sides and the angles and you can see couple way of notation, an algebraic way of where you use algebraic uh, relation, a verbal way, uh, and a vector way. Sometimes you may see that. Let me uncheck this, and we're going to move to the next slide, which is another rigid transformation, rigid motion, or congruent transformation. You can use all these three uh, names, and it's called reflection. Let's see the reflection first. And you notice here we have a line, and then that line is like a mirror. Okay. Similar with translation, it keeps the size of the pre image, it doesn't change it. Now, the difference for, for translation, it flips the image, and all by it also preserves the lens and the angles. We have a couple of notation in a two algebraic way using the capital R reflection over the line L of object A and or a small r. Either way you can meet both ways, just be familiar with both. And also a verbal way reflection over the line L. I'm gonna uncheck this. And we're gonna move to the next transformation, which is still a rigid transformation, rigid motion, or congruent transformation. All these three names are uh, good to be used and let's see how rotation looks like you see here the pre-image and the image and I put here a slider you can move and you can see how that uh, pre-image can be rotated around point R a number of degrees um, characteristics it keeps the same size it doesn't change the size of the triangle in this case it changed the orientation of the figure you notice and but it preserves the lens and the angles notation similar to reflection be careful you can see capital r or small r and this it tells you the degrees you rotate and the rotate around what point in this case point o or in the, in the picture i have the point r and a, a verbal way rotate a number of degree in this case 110 around point o i'm going to uncheck this and we're going to move to the next uh, transformation which is the only non-rigid transformation or similar transformation it's you can hear those uh, name also um, this is called dilation and i want you first to see dilation right here and you notice i have here a slider yeah this shows me an enlargement how we call it and this is a reduction depending on the k and the, va the value of that k, which is called the scale factor, we have an enlargement or a reduction. When, when k is 1, you have the same shape. Uh, see characteristic here, the size of the object changes. Yeah, you notice it's a smaller or larger. It preserves only the angles, the length obviously will change. And you can see some notation like this, dilation, center of dilation v, scale factor k or a verbal way and that's pretty much today about transformation 
Uh, if you want to go back to the first like, click first. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-Square for more help. Thank you.